Hello, this attractive piece that I'm wearing is going to be in soft silk fabric which makes it very very easy to drape and convenient. Now, let me show you the detailings on the sari. First of all, look at the color palette. The colors are quite lovely and throughout the sari, you're going to find these checks running through. Now, the checks have also been done with zari work. Now, let us talk about the border. This thin border that you see is going to be 11 inch border divided into three parts. So this is going to be the first part which is a zari border. The center border is going to be a satin border and the third border again is going to be a zari border. Now let me take you to the pallu. This is going to be the pallu. Quite a traditional one and lovely detailings. Look at the intricate work. Everything is going to be filled with zari work. Now, at the end of the pallu, here you can find dark blue tassels running through. Now, compared to the lower bottom border, the upper border is going to be a little narrower, thinner, a single border, but also has zari work on it. Now, along with this, you're going to get a blouse fabric, which is going to be filled with loads and loads of zari work as well. Hello. The stunning sari that I'm wearing is going to be in the fabric soft silk and has loads and loads of zari weaving. Where? Let me show you. Okay, so let us begin with the sari throughout. Throughout the sari, you're going to find these checks work done. Now, the checks is also in zari work. Apart from that, let me show you the border. This 11 inch broad border is going to be a three partition. Basically, the first partition is going to be a zari border. The second one is going to be satin border. And the third one again is going to be a zari border. Now, at the end of the pallu, look at it. This is the detailing. This is the fine intricate work that you're going to find all over it. This is a very, very eye-catching pallu. Now, at the end of the pallu, you're also going to find these dark blue tassels running through. Now, the second border, which is the top of the sari border, is going to be comparatively a thinner border but has zari work as well. Now, along with the sari, you get a blouse material which is going to be a dual tone, a two tone blouse with brown and darker blue, and also has zari detailing all over it. This attractive sari that you see is going to be in the fabric soft silk and has loads of zari work. Where? Well, let me show you. Now on the entire sari, you're going to find checks work like so and the entire checks work is going to be done in zari detailings. Now apart from that, here comes the border. The border has been divided into three sections. The first border is going to be in zari weaving. The center border is going to be a satin border. And the third border again is going to be a zari border. Let me take you to the pallu now, which is going to be quite as attractive. Look at this. Here comes your pallu. It is having loads of golden zari work again. At the end of the pallu, here comes dark blue tassels running through. Now, the border is going to be 11 inches. Comparatively, the top border of the sari is going to be narrower, a single border with zari work as well. Along with the sari, you're going to get a blouse material in coffee brown color filled with zari detailing as well. If you love vibrant colors, this can be the right pick for you. Why? Because this sari has many, many colors all through it. Let me show. Look, these are the colors that you're going to get in your sari. Now, here comes the border. The border has been divided into three sections. Basically, this is going to be your first section, which is having zari weaving. The center border is going to be a satin border. And the third border, again, is going to be a golden zari border. Throughout the sari, you have checks. This is going to be the checks on your entire sari. The checks, again, is going to be zari detailing. Now, let me show you the pallu. Here comes the pallu of your sari, quite a traditional part. Look at this. This is also adorned with lots and lots of zari detailing. Now, at the end of your pallu, here comes dark green tassels running through. Now, apart from this, the bottom border is going to be around 11 inches, whereas the first top border is going to be a narrower, a thinner border, which also has zari weaving. Along with this sari, you're going to get a blouse material, which is going to be basically a two-toned blouse in dark green and in coffee brown, filled with zari work as well. Bringing to you a sari which is quite a fusion of western and traditional. So the colors are quite vibrant and now let us shift to the border quickly. The border is quite eye-catching, keeping it more on the traditional side. It is going to be divided into three parts. 
This is the first border which is going to be in zari golden work. The center border is going to be satin and the third border again is going to be zari work. Now let us move on to the pallu. The pallu is quite filled with loads and loads of zari work again. At the end of the pallu you are going to find red tassels running through like this. And here are the colors of the entire sari. As you can see, it is quite vibrant and very eye-catching. The second border, which is the top border, this one is going to be narrower. The lower bottom border is going to be around 11 inches and this one is comparatively narrower, equally filled with fine work detailing. Now, along with the sari, you are going to find a blouse material, which is going to be red in color, filled with lots of zari details. Video no will explain chase not to connect chala born like a color combinations. I think any designs I think so Mila you can and a chite screen with a number on the Kata nine five eight one double seven nine zero two pack at the pink chase me order night a plate chase condi Mila you're in a first time on channel watches and take the pack on the subscribe chase condi. Thank you, thank you for watching.